I'm really sorry to insult you, but your iPhone is starting to look a little bit small, at least in comparison to these. This is the iPhone 6 with a 4.7 inch display, and this is the iPhone 6 Plus with a 5.5 inch display. Yes, these have got bigger screens, but there's lots more in them too, including new cameras and NFC chips to help you kill your wallet. Both the 6 and the 6 Plus have new Retina HD displays that display far more than you've been able to see on your iPhone 5 or 5S. Like a bigger Android phone, it's great for seeing more of web pages, and Apple's added a special landscape mode for the home screen with the 6 Plus. On both phones, you can move through web pages and emails with swipes on the side. But I really prefer the smaller version for my smaller hands. The 5.5 inch version looks like a small tablet. Look at it! Here it is! All right. Wow, that's really big. It is really big. Look at this comparison to my face. Comparison to old phone. All right, can we turn it on? Yes. Okay. Hi folks, Chris Voss here from the ChrisVossShow.com, the ChrisVossShow.com. Hey, guess what? We've got the new gold iPhone 6 Plus. We're going to review it. And of course, we've been reviewing the iPhone 6 today at the AT&T store, so be sure to look at our other videos. Give us a subscribe and a like. Let's get into our review of the iPhone 6 Plus. One thing we want to mention on it is the battery that's in the iPhone 6 Plus is definitely nice. It's definitely wonderful to have that much larger battery. It just seems to last forever, and that makes all the difference. So, let's take a look at what we think. Okay, the first thing you're going to notice with the iPhone 6 Plus, and the iPhone 6 for that matter, is it's got these beveled edges uh, basically taper off around the side, uh, giving it kind of a rounded or completing the rounded effect that you get from front and back. It really gives a feeling of thinness to the phone that makes it feel thinner than it really is. But you will be surprised when you get the phone that it is incredibly thin, which makes it very nice and beautiful. Um, it's the first thing that will probably come to your mind and your eyes, you feel it. It's definitely not that heavy when it comes down to it, even the Plus, as big as it is with the bigger battery and everything. Uh, and it's just very beautiful with its rounded edges and everything else. The only downside of the rounded edges are it tends to be fairly slippery. There's not that flat edge that you have with the 5 and 5S to go with, and you're definitely going to want a case for this because you're going to slip this out of your hand. It's just completely rounded on the edges. Does that make it bad? No. It makes it a very beautiful looking case and very awesome to look at. You're probably not going to see the case much, of course, once you put it into an iPhone case, but you definitely want to protect your investment really when it comes down to it also. The other reason you're going to want a case is you can see that the camera eye sticks out quite a bit. And, well, it is a sapphire lens. It's supposed to be protected against scratches. The LG G2 and I believe the G3 has sapphire scratches and there's been reports of those lenses scratching so it is possible to scratch a sapphire lens cover and while they put one on the iPhone's 6's uh, um, definitely you want to get this thing uh, covered up with a case to protect it. We laid the phones flat on their backs and found that even with the small amount that it juts forward it's going to be laying against whatever surface you put it on. And if you put it on a surface that ends up scratching it, well, there you go. They just want your camera on your iPhone. So you definitely want a protective case for those two reasons. But the camera does a good job. Um, it seems to be slightly improved over what the camera was last time. Uh, you can see here the buttons are beautifully done. They've got this uh, nice finish to them. I like how the mute switch is smaller and kind of out of your way. Not really a hassle to deal with. On the bottom, they kind of have some bigger area for the speaker. Uh, and you've got, of course, a bigger area for a microphone here and also a bigger microphone in the back on the camera eye. Uh, they also made this kind of smaller, the flash element, so that's probably good. I'm sure they've improved the quality, but you can see here we've got a gold one here. So um, definitely a beautiful experience. You can also notice, probably by now, it's got the flip from horizontal to portrait mode that you would have with a lot of phablets or that you would have with tablets. Uh, and that's indicative of the Plus. This isn't uh, something that I believe runs on the iPhone 6 normally. Uh, this is definitely an iPhone 6 Plus feature. I still haven't figured out if there's a way for me to turn it off. I'm sure there is and I just haven't found it in the settings yet. But it works for me so far because I'm used to it with phablets that I have and uh, other mobile phones. It definitely does the job in being able to uh, accomplish what iOS accomplished. A little disappointing in the speed. Uh, it doesn't seem like the A8 is that speedy. Of course it's rendering a whole lot more uh, 1080p of course. Uh, bigger bigger everything when it comes to screen so definitely there's a whole lot more work that has to be done than you would have to do in older iPhones and I think I think Apple was honest with this when they told us you know there wasn't a big change up in speed and everything else downloads seem to take maybe a little bit longer to download apps 
and install them than from the iPhone 5S. I don't think that's a bad thing. I'm just giving you the ideas of my impressions so far, how they worked. Um, I would have expected with a faster processor that things would improve, but keep give in mind, it is fair to say that you know Apple has increased the size of this, so there's much more rendering that has to take place in drawing a big screen. The camera does a good job. The video does a good job also. The video, one thing I've been impressed by is the uh, the the shaking ability to keep from shaking on video to get good video quality and anti-shake so that does a really good job um, been impressed with that not a lot of shake on the video so good stuff there uh, the camera seems to be about the same slightly better I haven't seen anything really that impressed me too much on the quality of the camera there's some different features of course where you can heart or things that you like you can do some more in the editing section you do have camera burst too which is very interesting and it's very fast you can hold it down boom 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 look at that baby go and you can bang off a lot of pictures and it will help you pick the best picture too which is very interesting so uh there's that feature there's also the new